guys and welcome to this vlog this is a travel vlog i guess um it is currently 3 10 a.m on thursday the 7th of june and i am actually in a hotel um in england i've not i'm not like abroad just yet um i'm in the hampton by hilton at liverpool john lennon airport i've decided that because i am going on holiday actually alone and a lot of people have said to me like you're going alone you must be so confident etc etc and i guess i just wanted to share with you guys that you know this is for me i've never flown on my own i quite often travel on my own so you know i'll go down i've been down to glas up to glasgow um quite a lot of time well once actually i don't know why i said that <laughs> I've been down to London a lot, um, you know, I stay in hotels a lot, I've stayed in hotels in Birmingham um, overnight on my own. I quite often do spontaneous like city breaks kind of thing just to like explore and stuff because that's what I like doing. But I've never actually got on a plane and gone to a foreign country alone so I guess I'm just going to take you guys with me and share with you guys like how I feel. I'm not going to say that I'm... I'm scared or anxious to fly alone but i'm just kind of a bit like oh you know like i just wish there was someone to chat to to be excited with that kind of thing i'll show you where the airport is because oh yeah this is the room room tour that i can't be bothered doing oops i guess i shouldn't really do a room tour of like this hotel because this was just a one night stay kind of thing so i'll show you guys where the airport is from here so literally out the window that is the airport obviously there you can see the planes i absolutely love traveling so i guess my love for traveling kind of outweighs all that fear um but yeah i do get anxious like i do get a little bit not stressed like i'm not i get a little bit stressed and worried about like missing flights etc etc and then i am a little bit of a negative thinker at times and yeah, I do get a little bit worried, but like I think, oh my gosh, what well, if this happens, what well, if that happens? But I guess I've just got to see through those those like anxieties and just get through them. And this is for you guys, if you are ever like, you have that itch to travel, but you won't travel alone. Um, which a lot of people don't like traveling alone, and I do not blame you because it can you can put yourself in a vulnerable vun, vulnerable 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 position because obviously you are alone the reason that i'm gonna be alone is because my mum and my little sister have gone on a two-week cruise however on wednesday is my degree show and basically they are going for two weeks and they're not going to be back to like the following monday or the following sunday or something so i had to miss out so i decided that i was going to meet them at one of the stops I have actually brought this porridge with me, this little fuel porridge thing. The only problem I've got is I've got a kettle, I've got everything, but not a spoon. There's a continental breakfast at 4am, but I'm debating whether to just leave the hotel and go to the airport at 4am for a 6am flight, or to just nip into the continental breakfast, maybe grab a spoon. I'm not hungry in the slightest, but I am aware that I don't really want to spend much more money in the airport because the only breakfast that you can really get is like Frankie and Benny's and I'm not feeling it. If I was just kind of in a bit of a like, I guess if I was with a group of friends and we were all going on holiday, I probably would have a Frankie and Benny's but on my own I just think it's a restaurant type meal and I'd rather just not do it, not at 4am. Um, so yeah, that's the other thing, like a lot. someone said to me like, oh I wouldn't mind going on holiday on my own but where would you eat like would you go to a restaurant on your own I was like probably not like I don't mind going to cafes and stuff on my own and I don't mind eating on my own like I'm not I'm not scared of being on my own in that sense it's weird but you know I do enjoy my own company but when my anxiety ugh, my anxiety is playing up a little bit it it is a bit like I'm lost in my own thoughts kind of thing so I guess that's when I want someone there to kind of distract me and push me out of it a little bit because sometimes i do need that push in to get out of that mindset 
I might have this. I don't know. I'll show you guys if I do. And I'll probably next speak to you either when I land or just kind of when I feel like I need to share a thought with you guys. So the flight went really well. When I actually got off the plane, that was all okay as well. There was a shuttle bus to the city centre that only cost three euros. So I was like, well, I'm gonna do that because a taxi for one is probably gonna charge me like through the roof because quite often taxi drivers will make up a price. Like if I didn't have any phone signal, then I definitely wouldn't have probably been able to find my way. So having a phone, that has data has definitely been the key to this that is my word of advice like if you are traveling alone and other than that i feel like i'm just going to get my bearings in the city today so i'll take you along with me i know the main central part because i've been here before i can't check into my hotel till 2 p.m and it's only like half 11 so i've arrived really early which is really good the Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. I've just had a little bit of a rest and I think I'm definitely ready to head back out now. There's always something to interrupt me. So yeah, I just had a bit of a rest. I was charging my phone up, I was putting my bags away, checking into my hotel, etc. It's been a bit of a hectic day traveling and I haven't like felt like getting out there and going far and exploring just yet. In terms of being alone, um, I have FaceTimed Bev. Well, Bev FaceTimed me actually. So, you know, that was nice. It was nice to actually speak to somebody. I went to, if you seen just the food that I ate. The only thing that I have struggled with, and this isn't really down to being on my own, it's just down to being in a different country, but I am struggling with like where to eat and stuff. That's something that I didn't think would be difficult, but I guess from being normally on all-inclusive holidays, it is actually quite difficult. And I'm like, I don't want to go overboard and spend loads and loads of money, but I also want to try nice things. And um, yeah, so the only thing that I'm struggling with not just being alone but more kind of the language barrier and um, so yeah basically traveling alone it isn't always amazing like i like my own company but when it comes to being actually alone like i can't just ring somebody and be like hi do you want to chat i'm not the most confident of people but i do like company that's why i'm going out as well I, even if company just means like 
the, the, the locals, then it's something. <laughs> down these little alleyways and um, just because I just think it's like tourists that really get to see this part of like the cities and stuff and I just like to be nosy and there's always nice graffiti down here and um, I just found some water because I'm feeling like I feel like I'm holding a lot of water and I feel pretty dehydrated as well like I've not drank much like I've drank smoothie. I've tried to drink as much as possible but I've just not drank any water today at all. And this was only 50 cents so that's pretty good. So yeah I'm just on like a wonder now and yeah I just think wow all the buildings are so nice so I'm just having a nosy and I feel a bit more energetic now I've come out. guys could see that viewpoint then but I really want to find it I really want to find out how to get there and um, I'll probably do that tomorrow though but yeah I really actually I'm so desperate to go up there imagine the views at the top of that it's gonna be amazing <laughs> shower and I'm basically gonna have quite an early night tonight Um I grabbed a massive bottle of water I also I also actually got some ice cream before Um I was gonna get a frozen yogurt and then I went past this like place that did Nutella ice cream so I went to get that as like my final thing to eat for the day but i just wanted to quickly say if you're scared of traveling alone and you never go anywhere just because of fear then you know there's only you're only gonna get older and regret that and the amount of times i kept thinking to myself before i was going i wish i was just staying at home because that way i'm safe and you know what like all my family are always like oh you like you're fearless you know you don't really understand the dangers but to be honest i do and i'm very anxious of the dangers and if you don't actually live your life then you never like if you don't do it now you never will and if you are interested in seeing what happens tomorrow in malaga then please do watch the next video and please do like and subscribe this video i did want to make it like a touristy style vlog and then i thought actually no it's quite a good idea to make it a traveling alone vlog and how i'm finding the concept of traveling alone especially to a you know out of into europe out of the uk and please do stay tuned for the next following videos for malaga because i'd be really happy to show you guys what i get up to and the places that i go to eat and things like that and touristy things so yeah see you in the next video guys good night